What's good, y'all? I want to take a look at Ezekiel Elliott. Um, man, it, he he looked a little different, didn't he? He looked a little different. Um, I'm not going to edit around too much and skip around too much. I just kind of want to let some plays run. I'm going to edit at, at certain points or whatever. But I just kind of wanted to look at some of these runs back to back to back, you know, just to kind of get an idea of, of how, how Zeke ran as a whole. Um, what I what I will say, I got a little bit of motion there. What I will say, man, is if you look at, if you look at Zeke and how he was running early in the year, Zeke ran like a power back and to be fair Zeke is one of the best power backs in the league but when I was talking about Zeke being being one of the best I'm talking about Zeke being a power back plus the other things that he do you know so in the early part of the season I was like hey man Saquon Barkley the best running back in the league and I used to holler that about Zeke you know what I mean because Zeke just wasn't running nimble enough he wasn't running with enough bursts he wasn't running patient enough right now, granted, it shouldn't take seven games to get that from Zeke. So let's just not let's just be be clear on that. It shouldn't take seven games to get that from you. Good, uh, good block from Connor Williams right here. Fantastic by you. Pull kick. Mm, get out of there. But just take a look at, at at Zeke just reading his angles right here, right? Just just reading his blocks, being patient, following Zach Martin, letting letting Connor Williams work, letting his two tight ends boom. Boom, who's that? Uh Blake and Jason. Just letting Blake and Jason work and then then navigating off their blocks. Feet look a little nimbler, look a little lighter, nimbler, a little more nimble. I don't know. Somebody help me out with that. My my subjects, my subjects and verbs don't always agree. But he looks a little more more nimble, looks a little more light on his feet. You know what I'm saying? Uh let's take a look at this play. Take a look at this play, how his blocks were set up, how he moved. I want to take a look at his feet. I want to take a look at his burst, his patience, all that stuff. Look at that, man. Just weaving through track. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Don't you come down this alley, player. You better get in the weight room. You better eat some, you better eat some more biscuits before you come down. <laughs> oh, that's what's dope by Zeke, right? Time out. This run right here. And, and this ain't this ain't scripted or nothing. This isn't whatever. So we see Zeke start off with a little patience, right? We see some cutback. We see some nimble feet. Boom, right there. Some nimble feet. We see the power, right? Boom. Then we see the speed to finish. That's what I'm saying. That's what made Zeke the best running back in the league right there. Um, I love Saquon Barkley. I love him. Saquon don't finish like Zeke. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at Zeke. Like, damn, Zeke, you, 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 you finishing people. You running over people. But it's looking like you looking for people to run over. What I liked about this game is Zeke used running over people as his last resort. He only ran over people to get the last few yards out of it. You know what I mean? But in terms of his patience, reading his blocks, his vision, quickness and feet, finish right here. That's what it is, player. That's what it is. This wasn't even a touchdown, according to the according to the uh, to the zebra Illuminati right there. That wasn't even a touchdown. But damn it, this one here though, <laughs> this one touchdown right here though. Mm. Saw a little bit of patience right there, right? You know, normally Zeke just get up in this thing and take on and take on um, Fletcher Cox head on and just try to run him over. And Zeke probably, Zeke's probably ran him over before, but boom, patience, bounce back outside, bounce back inside. Zeke looked totally different this game, man. We got a little bit of misdirection read right here. We're going to let Dak and Zeke fake like we're handing it off to the left. Ah, but we're going to maestro this thing, get back to the right side. Mm, then, at, then at this point, we're just going to let Zeke read what's up front and let him kind of, uh, you know, make a decision based on what's happening. And what's happening here is you get a pretty good combo on uh, from Zach Martin and Leo Collins on um, Fletcher right here. Your two tight ends are going to take care of your uh, defensive end. And, and you know, Zeke going to see it. Zeke's going to see it and he's going to, He's going to get there quick, right? Boom, boom, boom. Get there. Zeke uh, with a little bit of balance through uh, through contact right here, right? This uh, this first little little arm at your, <laughs> arm at your legs there. Zeke's going to kind of run through that. He probably would have kept his balance, but it was another human just waiting on him. It's 27 trying to get his leg back. You'll be all right. <laughs> You'll be all right. But uh, just seeing it better, man. The movement's better. What about the next play? And... I'm fast forwarding through the through the wide view because we just see things better cartel view. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not skipping plays. I just want to take a look at it from the uh, cartel view there. That's all. Tavon Austin with a little bit of movement. Y'all should be terrified of Tavon on account of what he did to you on that first drive of offense, but whatever. <clears throat> 
See, man, just, 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 just and I don't want to sound like a like a broken record, man. But like, what you want me to do? What you want me to say? I'm gonna say it again. I'm gonna say it again to y'all. Sick of me. This, this, this cat look different, man. This cat look different. But he's not free from me cussing him out because he should have done this last week. <laughs> do this verse to Saints. Do this verse to, you know what I'm saying? And he got yards those games. He got hundred yard rushing, uh, rushing in those games. But he could have had like 150. He could have had 150. He could have had 200. If he ran smart like this, it ain't even about it ain't even about ability right here. This is purely running smarter and you know running with a little more. If anything, patience and vision is the biggest change that I see. Um, but he also using those legs, man, bouncing around in that thing. And look, what I like about it, he ain't just bouncing to be bouncing. Like Jamez Olawale wants to get a block backside. Cool. Let's continue to follow Jamez Olawale. Get up field, run a little, you know, run with a little more, um, a little more power after that. I like it, man. You you ain't gonna see me hating on it. You ain't gonna see me hating. Jamez was outside. What the hell they had Jamez lined up outside at first? It's something else I like to do when I watch a film. I like to see where, uh, you know, just to. Like Jamez lined up outside had nothing to do with this exact play. I just wanted to take a look at it. So like if I see it again, like, hey man, well there was that one time Jamez <laughs> Jamez lined his ass up outside. Uh this that one where um where uh Zach Martin transformed Super Saiyan and <laughs> and pushed this damn boy out the way. <laughs> Get your ass on the ground, boy. <laughs> look, Zach Martin gonna pull. Pull, pull, one hand. Boy, bench press. Get your ass fall. <laughs> Let's take a look at Zeke, though, man. Boom, boom, boom. And technically, I ain't mad at you, Zeke. I'm not mad at you. Because look, the whole kind of sorta is either here or here. You could take either one of these, man. I'm not mad at you there. But uh, Zeke just getting the ball, reading his blocks, and navigating, man. <clears throat> I like that. Hey, y'all, let's watch Zach Martin one more time. And I know some people are mad that I'm rewinding three, four, five times, but if you don't like football, like you, you don't like football, you don't want to see this three, four, five times. Get out of here. Shut your face. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> Go watch Cowboys.com or something. <laughs> this one nasty. Hold on. Time out. We're going to put tape. Uh, we're going to shift the formation, get Tavon on the other side to uh, shift the defense, get them moving around a little bit. We're going to bring Koo back. Fake the sweep the coop just to get these guys moving right here, right? We only we only we only fake this sweep just to get a little more room to the outside. Dak's gonna turn around, pitch that thing to Zeke. Boy, boy, boy. If you a defensive end and you don't want to be on the island with this, with this, uh, with this old Zeke right here, I'm, I'm, I'm calling this old Zeke. You, you know, if you're on the island with, with new Zeke, he'll just, he'll just run you over. You know what I'm saying? But if you're on the island with old Zeke, psh, shoe program, psh. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Come on back. Come on back. Zeke, why are you messing over this man's feet like this, boy? Shoe program. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had cartoon sound effects. <laughs> Get out of here. What you doing? Uh, like I said earlier. What makes this dope? He's getting outside doing what he has to do. He wins with his uh with his uh quickness there. He actually won with uh with uh momentum. And and both they ass is glitched. I ain't even see this one and two. These these cats is is, is glitching because Zeke using the momentum to get both of them up out of there. And he's just gonna finish the run running this guy just running through these people, just <laughs> leaning forward for an extra extra two yards or so, man. I ain't mad at Zeke. Listen. My cable bill was way too high. I reached out to affordablesticks.com. They sent me a fire stick, plugged that thing into the HDMI. Now I get unlimited shows, movies, and live TV. I'm a huge sports fan, so I love League Pass, Sunday Ticket, and I get the pay-per-view fights for free. That's something for the whole family. You can buy a fire stick for every TV in the house and still spend less money than you would on cable. That's affordablesticks.com. There's a link in my description. You should go click it. I got an extra play I wanted to show y'all. Take a look at my cousin. Look at my cousin. Watch your boy Tony real quick, man. In real time, I ain't even gonna stop it. <laughs> Look at your boy Tony. Oh goodness, cut back. Uh, shoe program. Uh, where you at? Ow! <laughs> Run you over. <laughs> Look, look at your boy. He mad. Look at your boy. Look, look at him. Look at look at fifty seven. I know you mad, player. I know you mad. Cause, 
because my son, my cousin, smoking hell. Everybody clap your hands. <laughs> Y'all boys is angry. You should tackle better. <laughs> then he gonna run up on him. Look at look at look at my cousin Tony. Gonna run up on him. That's what I'm talking. We're gonna freeze frame it right there. Ah. That's what I'm talking about, bro. Now, like I said, because I still got a little shades of negativity in here. I want Zeke to be this fantastic since we uh since week one. Okay, he needs to be consistent with that. I need him to keep doing what he did this game. I don't want Zeke to get down in a hole. I don't want uh I don't want the back against the wall theory to be a thing. I want you to be great from the jump. You know what I'm saying? Also, some other little criticism I got. I need Tony Pollard to get a lot more carries, bro. Uh, he got like seven or eight carries or something like that. It's not enough. Tony needs to be getting off in these games, and I would like him to get a rhythm. So if you put him on that Darren McFadden, Joe Randall, give him the entire third series type of deal, if you need to do that, do what you got to do. But fam. I'm excited about my running backs. I'm definitely excited about, uh, you know, Zeke potentially getting his mojo back, man. Shouldn't be gone, but I'm glad about him getting it back. And if he keeps that thing, hey, man, this team only gets better and better and better. All right. Uh, hit the notification bell so you know when I'm dropping these film sessions in the middle of the week just like this. And subscribe. I need those numbers. Uh, it's uh, big goals for me and all that. And uh, hit the like button if y'all ain't doing nothing else. Y'all hold it down for the Doski Wilson and Peace Kiwiski, man. Peace. After canceling my cable, I saved $2,400 this year by switching to Beast TV through channelsforcheap.com. Some people pay $200 plus a month. I paid $120 a year. Or you can go $15 a month if that's what's convenient for you. You get 2,500 HD channels. A thousand of those are in English, and there are plenty of other international channels, TV Guide, and we get all the sports. One of my favorite things is multi-screen feature. So if I don't know what I want to watch, I can tune into four different channels at one time. That you can watch on four different devices, and it's available on Fire Sticks, Smart TVs, tablets, and if you're on the go, you can watch TV on your phone. Hit the link in my description or go to channelsforcheap.com where you can get a free seven day trial. That's a whole week for you to just sit down and play with it and see what you like about it. Then come back and make a purchase. Because if you have any questions, go to channelsforcheap.com. Hit this little button right here and they'll respond to you immediately. That is channels number four cheap.com. The link is in the description. I highly recommend it. Let's do it. The YouTube Illuminati is taking money away from your favorite content creators, and people often ask the best way to support the channel directly. I tell them that subscribing to my Patreon. Just $1 a month would increase production and the frequency of uploads. Basically, that means more content for you. For less than a bag of almond M&Ms, you can support the channel, call dibs on requests for future videos, and you can have access to Patreon-exclusive material like my throwback film sessions. That's patreon.com slash Lombardi. I appreciate the support. Doski Woski. Salute.